concealed carry while full-time RVing or just traveling for that matter. What is up, blind viewers? How's everybody doing? All right, let's start off by uh, yesterday. I told you a little bit about uh, I'm Not Chuck. Well, I got me an I'm Not Chuck sticker. That is right. There is another one on the wall already over there. An I'm Not Chuck sticker. This is an extra. So, as I said, he has stickers now. If you go to his channel... And you go to up at the top where it says home videos and all that. If you go down to the about tab, click on the about tab. And in that section, that's where the P.O. box will be. You send him a self-addressed stamped envelope and he will send you a sticker. Now, to the business at hand. Concealed carry permits. Well, full-time RVing. Or just traveling. Now, I've often wondered how this works with these people because uh, I hear a couple of them with their little rumblings saying that they have personal protection and they carry guns and this and that and the other. And uh, so I wanted to talk about that a little bit just to make sure that some people know exactly what they're getting into. Now, before I even start, I know there's going to be some people, that, well, I've been on the road for 25 years, and I had a gun, and I've been in every state in the union, and I've never, never had a problem, and blah, 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 blah. Well, good for you. And other ones will say, oh, well, I have a permit from bum, blah, 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 Idaho, and it's good anywhere in the world. Well, you just go ahead and think that. Now. All that being said, I'm not saying that I am some professional and I'm some expert on the situation, but I will say this. I am going to tell you facts, the truth about what I know and my experiences as a Pennsylvania state resident with a concealed carry permit when I travel. This is a reciprocity map. You go on a, a website or wherever and you look up your state. You say you have a residence concealed carry permit for that state. And the map will show up. Now, the blue ones, good to go. The red ones, eh -eh. stay away from them. You must not carry concealed in those states. Your concealed carry permit is not honored in the red states. In the little blue ones or some maps that are green, they are good. Those states honor your concealed carry permit. Now, when you go on and you check it, make sure you say, the residence concealed carry permit. Because, say for instance, me, I'm a resident of Pennsylvania. So I have a concealed carry permit for Pennsylvania. A resident concealed carry permit. Now say I would travel to, oh, I don't know, Ohio. And say I would like to apply for a concealed carry permit. And if I would get one, I would be applying for a non-resident concealed carry permit. Yes, they are different, so make sure when you are looking, you click the proper one. This is the kind of stuff that I think about when I hear about all these people, especially the RVers, these nomads that are driving around and doing whatever and say, okay, well, my resident state is Florida, or my resident state is Texas, or whatever it is, because, I mean, they never lived there, but it's easier to get their little, uh, or one of the Dakotas is the other one. Because they don't have state tax, you don't have to get your vehicle inspected. And for whatever reason, it's easier, it's simpler. You don't ever have to go there, but you can be a resident. So, when you file for your 
concealed carry permit and you're a nomad and you go, well, I grew up in the great state of Washington. Well, your resident is not in Washington anymore. It's wherever you have your residency. That's one. So you have to pay attention to that too. Wherever you set up your residency as you travel across the country, that is the one that counts. Now there's the next issue. Okay, so you you went ahead, you got your concealed carry permit for your state, your resident. Boom, good. All right, so if we look here again at my map, say for instance, I am traveling from home in Pennsylvania and I am going to Florida. Well, if I jump on 95 and I go straight down the coast, down to Florida, if you see there are two states, two, count them, one, two, that I am not permitted to conceal carry in. That is Maryland and South Carolina. Now, what do you do? Well, there is a law that says you are allowed to transport through, that means pass through those states with your weapon. Now, there's a little thing called the Firearms Owners Protection Act of 1986. Go look at that. It tells you what you can and cannot do. But you are allowed to travel through these states with your concealed carry permit with your firearm. However, there are rules. And here's where it gets tricky. I suggest you read that act and uh, interpret it yourself, but it doesn't matter how you interpret it. It's how the officer and the judge interprets it. What you think doesn't really matter. However, now here's the deal. It must be in separate places. In other words, your weapon has to be, say we're traveling in a car, we'll say in a car. So you put your gun in a locked box in the trunk of your car and you put your ammunition either in another box or in another lock box or whatever under your front seat or in your glove box or something like that. They are separated and they are not easily accessible from the driver's or the passenger's compartment. Now, the weapon must be unloaded while transporting through a non-compliant state. What does unloaded mean? Well, if you just hit the little button and drop the magazine out of your weapon, it's unloaded. Ah, yes. But in some states, if you have one bullet in that magazine, it's still loaded. So you have to check the states. Or, just to be on the safe side, take your weapon, put it in a box that locks, lock it, put it in your trunk, take all the bolts out of your magazine, put them in something, and put them in a different place. The thinking is, is if something goes down, whatever, you can't just reach over, grab your magazine, grab your gun, load it, and still use it. You have to get out, go around, open your trunk, get in your trunk, open a box, get your weapon out, get your bullets, put them all in. That's what it's for. But that is the law in some states. Now, I know you're going to say, well, I'm in an RV. I don't have a trunk, so what do I do? Well, it's a little bit different. It has language in that little thing that says, if you do not have a section sectioned off separate from the driver's section, you have to you have to do what I just said. You just don't put it in a trunk. You have to put them in two separate lock boxes in two separate places in your RV. And to be on the safe side, what I would do was I would be putting one way back in the back. If your bedroom's in the back, put one in your drawer in your bedroom and take the other one say with the ammo in a lockbox and you actually go outside and open one of your compartments and put it in the belly just to be on the safe side because again what you think and what your interpretation of the law doesn't really matter now i know there's a whole bunch like i said in the beginning there's a whole bunch of nomads rvers or anything well i've been out here for 
10 years and I travel through every single solitary state and I never had a problem. Well, guess what? One of these days, your luck just might run out. And is it worth it? Are you even aware of these things? Or you say, well, I got a concealed carry permit. I can go wherever I want to. Yeah, I know there's a lot of people that have that in their mind. Well, sorry about your luck. But again, one day, your luck will run out. So I would advise you to be aware of the laws, whether you agree with them or not, they're laws and you have to follow them. We all have laws that we may not agree with, but we have to follow them. Well, unless you like jail or fines, that's up to you. If you look at this map, once again, if I were to travel east, yeah, there's not a whole lot of places on the east coast that I could go that honors my concealed carry permit. So, as a nomad, wouldn't work for me. I wouldn't be able to go chill in the desert all the time, now would I? So, as you travel, or you're an RVer, or, like I said, you're just going on vacation or a holiday, and you are a concealed carry permit holder, please take the time to check the states on your route to see if you are able to to go through or if you can stop because in those states that you cannot stop in that's what it means you can travel and you can transport that weapon through the state that means you can't stop spend just a night in a hotel and then go on your merry way the next day no you have to travel through no stopping and before anybody says well you're allowed to have guns in my state, or in this state, in that state, when you're in your home. Well, guess what? You may consider your van your home. You may consider your RV your home. But guess what? Your van is a vehicle. Your RV is a recreational, yes, you guessed it, very good, boys and girls, vehicle. Just because you think it's your home, it is not recognized as a home it is a vehicle and if you are in your vehicle with a concealed weapon and you do not have the proper permit you will go to jail now if you think i'm full of shit and you don't agree with me that's fine but if you fail to follow these warnings you may have way bigger problems than just disagreeing with me. This is Blind Views, and that's the way I see it. What we do here is go back, 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 back.